What's going on guys, Tall Fisherman J here. Now, I'm here at the beginning of the video to give you a bit of context for what you're about to see. Now, by the title and thumbnail, you guys can know that yes, we had a run-in with the cops. Now, let me explain. I'm out with a subscriber of mine and his father, and they took us out on Lake Mineola. We were on the boat, bass fishing, having a rough time actually. It was really, really hot. And we stumbled upon a missing or abandoned boat. We saw it from a distance and we went and checked it out. This boat was in the bank and a lot of brush. It looked like somebody left it there, but we had a feeling that there may be somebody inside, maybe something happened. So we went and checked it out. We got to the boat and there was nobody there. No traces of anybody being there. There was no keys in the boat. So we got curious we started looking around and after a little bit, we actually called the cops so they can come check it out. So we called the cops and they said that they would take care of it. They would have somebody come out and call the owner of the boat to figure it out. So we just left. Two minutes later, we get a phone call from an officer, an actual a deputy, telling us to meet him at the boat. Actually pick up this deputy. He was waiting for us at the bridge right by the boat. He actually gets on the boat that we are. We bring him out to the abandoned boat and he checks it out further from there. Are you there? Do you want to come in the canal? We'll come in the canal. All right, guys. So we're about to pick up a sheriff's officer. So uh, we're we in the midst a of a stolen boat. boat. Yeah, we reported a boat that was floating around. And you just reported. Turns out it's in the wrong lake. Yeah, we don't know if it's stolen. And maybe somebody was fishing. Fell off, or oh, there's no one in it right now. Yeah, there's nobody in. The keys with it? Oh, we didn't check that. Check the keys. Yeah, normally, like if I run the you know the the whole number and it comes back to somebody on the lake, it comes off a dock or off a, a line. You guys caught anything yet? It's a small bass. It's small. So we reported a boat that was floating on the lake, and apparently the owner has reported it missing. It's in a totally different location. It's in a different like, lake than it was registered. Yeah, it's like in a different lake than it was registered. We found it floating. We weren't sure what was going on. So we're coming back with the officer, and we're going to see if the keys are on it. No keys are on it. Looks like the keys aren't on there. The ignition's right on to the right. You got it? Because I'm going to step in. Yeah. Yep. Probably still floating with the rain and stuff. Not broken, huh? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. So the dock rope's not broken, so that means it didn't rip off. Hey, owner. It's up in the weed, uh, the weed line. North weed line. On the north side uh, closest to where the, yeah near near where that construction is it's supposed to be on it last night nobody was using it so I'm not I don't have like a, a somebody floating in the water right okay. well yeah, that's all we care about is make sure that there's nobody in danger nobody stranded nobody hurt that's all we care about comes checks it out calls it in talks to the owner of the of the boat it's actually not supposed to be on that lake it's supposed to be on a completely separate lake it was registered under a different lake turns out that the boat was actually stolen and abandoned it was crazy so we stumbled upon an abandoned stolen boat and i hope that the owner uh got it back it seemed to be in shape i guess somebody just abandoned it got picked up got scared who knows but it was there and it got to its rightful owner hopefully and everything turned out good so it was pretty crazy uh, enjoy the rest of the video we did a lot of bass fishing and stuff like that orlando videos are more to come there's a couple more we had a lot of fun on our trip so that's what happened. No habla. No, no habla? Yeah, we have fish there, man. We have you. 
YouTube channels, bro. We're not trying to cause any problems or anything like that. We're just trying to make a video. That's all. We're not going to eat these kids. I'm saying that, but just need to Okay. Oh, well, we didn't enter in from that. Julian, Julian with the first Orlando fatty right here. Look at that, you guys. We got a guy in the background hollering at us. Okay. But we didn't, we didn't know that. You should say, all right, thank you, and keep moving on. All right, but what I'm, I'm trying to get my point across. Like, Fishing's not a crime. What point you got to make it, you don't live here. Fishing's not a crime. What point you have to make it, you don't live here. That was awesome. <laughs> thank you. Well, it's not that serious, man. All right, just stay, you stay right there. Okay. No doubt. No, Orlando. All right, guys. So we came to a new little spot. Me and Julian are here. This is a little bit time after. Oh, they're biting over there. Jeez, go cast. It is a little bit after the uh, grumpy old man told us we can't fish and that fishing is a crime. Uh, we got some stuff done. We came out here to try and finish off the day. The sun's going down, we got about an hour left. We're at this tiny little body of water. Hopefully we can get on some big bass. Uh, after this, we're gonna go check out the hotel room, go and get some dinners. It is day one in Orlando. And it's rocking and rolling, baby. Oh yeah. Got one? Got one for it, a big one. Nice one? Big one. It felt big at first. Oh! Get him, boy! Get him! <laughs> I know my bass, bro. I don't catch him too often. Flip him! Oh, I told you there was big ones in here. Yo, come over here with your camera, bro. Julian, getting them today. Beautiful. Solid man. bass. Look Beautiful how big hardy. this body of water is from there to there. Such a small spot. 50 yards, maybe. Honestly, you guys, I threw it down there. I tapped it twice. I went to grab my other rod and I felt the doom. And I said, oh no, I said, I turned the camera on. I wasn't even recording. And that's why I went to tell you, John, look, boom, set the hell out of right, him. Check it out. He's a fatty. Look at that belly on him. Zeroed out. I see. I see I'm thinking he's maybe four. Three and a half, maybe four. Yeah, I don't think he's four. Hold on. The more and more I held him, the, the less. Don't let go yet. All right, zeroed out. Now you can let go. John getting the official way in. Perfect. Three two. Three two. Close. Solid three. I got a little overexcited at first, but man, that jump that's a was solid a, fish. That though. jump was sick. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and put him back in the water. Let's get Beautiful this. Central Florida largemouth bass. Look at that. Lord, he's gonna splash us. See ya. <laughs> Perfect release, Dude. man. Awesome. Awesome. Hell yeah, bro. Maybe they're maybe they're finally starting to uh, pick up. Maybe it's dinner time. Hey, that would be pretty clutch. Come on. John is on, baby. There we go. Oh, there we go. Back to back. <laughs> Julian just caught his. Took a nice little cast. Oh my god, dude, what? Back to back chunkers, bro. Look how fat he is. What? I'm on the fresh tank, my dude. Dude, look how fat this guy is. Oh my god, that guy might be heavier than the last Look at his belly, dude. Guys, I literally took a cast right after your catch, bro. Back to back. And you were just saying it, too. All right, official weight of this nice little chunker here. This nice dirty bass. Nice dirty bass. Yeah, he's a... Dude, I think they're eating like crawfish or something because they must. Mouth, they have to for their mouths to be like that. Right. Scale. Zeroed is out. Zeroed. Dude, Central Florida largemouth bass, bro. What do they put in these waters? Too even, bro. Too even? Solid. He two his stomach is fat. About though. a pound and a quarter shorter than mine, but dude, it's dude, a nice looking bass. I'm excited dude, for this job, one, bro. Man. I am excited Let's for this fish. More. Look at that belly. All right, we're going to let him go. Right now, it looks like they're, they literally automatically turned on out of nowhere. Back to back cast. Julian got one. I got one. Both nice Orlando chunky largemouths. He's going. And he's there off. There you go. He got you good. What was that I tried to swing him in when you're, when you're saying flip him in, flip him in? Yeah. I probably would have just kept him lower. You got one? Oh, John with the leg set. A little guy. Little guy. <laughs> oh, God. Too big of a hook Fired set for this guy. Good job. <laughs> Still
still. Even the little ones are chunky. Look at dude, their bellies. Yeah, he choked it, dude. He's a mini football. Yeah, man. Another nice, chunky little Orlando bass. Not the size we want. Oh, calm down. Here we are at our hotel room. I know it looks like a prison cell, but I'm not really sure why it looks like this. Me and Julian are a little confused. Looks like an office building, not a hotel. So we're, we're going to go visit the IRS. Yeah, we're going to go visit the government really fast in this building. <laughs> we're headed inside, see what this place is like. First look at the room, you guys. Julian already went in. I forgot something in the car. Here we go. Oh, hell yes. Welcome Julian. to the, the Orlando Experiment room right here, Orlando right? Orlando Experiment. <laughs> My bed, Julian's bed. Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get copywritten, bro. Can't. Five seconds, I think, of Shark Tank. Look Dope that little view. view. Shut that light. Shut the light. So there's a view of the Ferris wheel. Not too what? shabby. Not hey. too shabby. Pretty cool. So we are going to get cleaned up. We're all sweaty and nasty from being out all day trying to hunt down these bass. We're going to go out to eat. I'm bringing you guys with us. That's the next thing you're going to see. We just got our food. I went with deep dish pizza and I've never actually had deep dish pizza before it's my first time and it's pretty good it's really freaking cheesy but it's all right well we're gonna tear this yeah, up buddy we're gonna head back we're back in the room we came back from eating we're full we're tired I know today has been scattered and confusing. This was our first day up. We drove up this morning. Our trip really starts tomorrow, so stay tuned for more videos. Go check out my boy Julian, link in description. Check out his channel, check out his videos, show him some love. Stay tuned for more videos from Orlando, and I will see you guys later.